everyone. A few things before we start square one. I'm so excited and I hope that you love your project. So anytime during the video that you need to pause, feel free to do so. Um, with me, we're going to pause after every step just to give you enough time to complete your project. The second thing, I would love for you to draw in pencil first and then trace over your lines with Sharpie. I always draw with Sharpie so you can see, but I would like for you to draw with pencil first so you can make any changes you like and then trace over with Sharpie. Lastly, when we're coloring, we really want to take our time. So go slow, make sure we leave little to no white space when using our markers, and most importantly, I really want you to have fun, so enjoy. We are going to draw our nighttime cactus, starting with our frame. These are lines that you're going to draw around the edge, four of them, about an inch away from the side. I'm turning my page so that I'm drawing top to bottom. These lines will cross over, they will intersect to make a frame around the edge of your paper. In each of these squares, I want you to put a shape. It can be the same shape or different shapes. Since this is my nighttime cactus, I'm using stars and moons. Now we're going to begin drawing our cactus itself. And we wanted to fill the inner square. I'm going to draw a long, tall oval. Should kind of look like a pickle right now, right in the middle of my square. And then I'm going to draw my horizon line. That's the where the land meets the sky. It's going to be bumpy because it's sandy. These live out in the desert. So I have my horizon line in the middle of my cactus. Now I'm drawing the arms. This is like a right angle facing up and it's soft. It's not pointy. And then I'm going to curve it over to make one cactus arm. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the left. These are going to be uneven. The left is higher, making those right angles and then curving and connecting those two lines. And now I have my cactus in the horizon line. I'm going to add my cactus flowers. This is a prickly pear cactus and they have beautiful flowers. I'm going to add more than that or none if I don't want any. I want to add a moon. It can be any phase moon. I use a crescent moon, but you can have a half or a full moon. And then now I'm going to add these circles for my stars. I don't want to add too many because I do have to color around those. Using your Sharpie, I would do the Sharpie for this detail, but I'm going to add in some texture, these confetti lines for my sand. And then I'm going to add in my lines for my cactus. This is going to be a broken line, and they're going to curve out kind of like how a pumpkin line curves, just to show that the cactus is actually a rounded shape. It's not flat. I'm going to do the same thing in the arms as well. It's kind of a dashed line going up and down the arms of the cactus and the arms. So that part is complete. And now I want to decorate my frame. I'm going to use different lines. You can use all wavy lines. You can use four different types of lines. Um, whatever line you choose, you want to decorate these rectangles that surround the cactus, and if you are drawing in pencil, this is the time after you've decorated your frame and drawn your cactus that you need to outline every line that's in pencil with Sharpie before we begin coloring. Once you color, you want to make sure that your frame uh, is solid colors. You can use different colors. And this is a nighttime drawing, so pick out colors that match nighttime, uh, adding in your details, making it very bright, leaving little to no white space. But once you have everything si uh, colored, you're gonna sign your name. See, I use a purple background there, use a blue one here. It's up to you, but sign your name and you're done. 